Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Thomas, how are you today? I'm doing great. I'm really excited today. I'm really ready to test some drivers out and see if I can beat my current gamer. Yeah, so Thomas is going to find his driver really for 2020. Uh, for those who don't know, Thomas plays professionally and actually wins a lot professionally, playing a lot of Minnesota PGA section events, has played on the Corn Ferry Tour. Uh, so Thomas, you know, First of all, give uh, the viewers a little bit of insight into what you're looking for and what you're trying to get out of this test. For me, I've noticed with my driver, sometimes my miss hits can be a little bit too low on the spin and maybe not carry quite as far. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, if I can get that carry distance up a little bit, I'm okay with maybe sacrificing a couple yards in total distance. But if that spin stays reasonable, I'm probably still gonna hit even okay. further anyway. Because Minnesota, it's, it's usually pretty soft conditions. Carry distance always is going to be important. So if I can carry a bunker out there at 275, 280, and know I can get over it, it's going to change my game. So mm -hmm. I can cut some some corners and actually get a little more distance out there. So for me, if I can pick up a couple yards carry distance, I think that would be great. And so through your testing, both early in 2020, some also in 2019, you've kind of come down with four driver models to test against your current gamer. What do you got? Yeah, so we have the Mizuno ST200G, um, Ping G410, LST, uh, we've got the Cobra Speed Zone, and then also the Callaway Maverick Sub-Zero. Okay, and you have played Callaway Epic and Epic Flash the last couple of years, so uh, obviously you gotta get Maverick Sub-Zero in there as well, and we've, from testing so far, I know you really love that one, so um, it'll be interesting to see, because I, I know I love watching it drivers, and some of those dispersion circles are pretty nuts, and I can't wait to see how it goes when you fit yourself here. Yeah, end of the day, you mentioned it. Dispersion also is very important to me, and if I, if I can get a little more carry distance but keep that dispersion tight, it's gonna be a winner. It's gonna be in my bag in 2020. All right, so. ready to hit some shots? I am, yeah, let's do it. All right, so you're gonna start, just hit a few shots with your gamer then? Yep, we'll hit four to five shots with each, with each club that's set up, so I'll hit four to five with my current gamer and see how that performs. And that is the Epic Flash Sub-Zero, right? Epic Flash Sub-Zero, um, I have it at nine degrees, BB6X, uh, yeah, so. Okay. Let's see if we can beat it today. All right, four good shots with your gamer, Epic Flash Sub-Zero. What do you take away from that right now? Those four swings are pretty solid. They so were. There's a reason why it is my gamer, I, I believe, and I mean, those numbers were excellent. I'm usually around about that 280 yard carry. So we'll notice my, my carry right there at 280 mm -hmm. yards. It's kind of what I've been hovering around for kind of the last year. Okay. So I'd love, I would be my, trying to find something to maybe get that carry distance up a little okay. bit. I did notice the spin rate on average is about 1800, so it's a little bit on the lower side. Okay. So 2000, when may, I may feel like I have better control on the ball flight. We'll notice I had three excellent shots, but that one I cooked a little bit was a little bit on the low side yeah. of the carry distance. But my club speed's around about 111 miles an hour. Full speed, 167. Excellent smash factor. I've, I've hit those things really, really well. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited just to test some clubs against yeah. against mine and see how they how they work out. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see which driver, you know, which of our drivers here can beat that because that would be tough to do. Yeah. Well, it's always exciting January, February to really work on, see what the new technology is all about and see if you can beat your gamer. Yeah, well, let's, you know, what do you want to test first here? Let's still go with the Mizuno first. Okay. So Mizuno ST200G. Yeah. Um, now, I will say when we're testing these, we're gonna test with an ever so slightly different shaft. It's almost the same profile. Okay. We'll test with the Atmos Black with all the club heads. Okay. So that one we have available in Mizuno. Okay. With our all fit fitting system, we can't test the Mizuno all fit with all the different, different golf shafts. So that's yeah. why I wanted to just okay. use that golf shaft. Um, it's gonna be very, very similar. Once we figure out which head we like, then we'll dive deeper into some different okay. golf shafts. And I've got three or four golf shafts selected already in my mind that I really wanna try. Okay, perfect. So. All right, four swings with 
the Mizuno ST200G. You had the weights forward, correct? In, yep, in the weights forward. There. Everything's going to be forward because this is a kind of lower spinning yeah. test. You prefer yep. that kind of lower spin driver club head. Now, at looking at these numbers, your dispersion is a little smaller. Uh, now, the one thing I found interesting, smash factor and ball speed a little bit lower, but uh, you had a little bit more spin, which I believe if we go to carry distance over here, help you compete, if not maybe keep up. It looks like the carry distance is very similar there. So Yeah, it's pretty similar. I really, It's really interesting. My club speed, exactly the same, but I did lose a little bit of ball speed mm -hmm. compared to my current driver. So maybe this one doesn't quite have as much ball speed. Mm -hmm. I mean, end of the day, that dispersion is incredible. Yeah. So I obviously do like the fact that I would have hit four out of four fairways with that right. particular driver. The one shot I hit with mine that was going on the left side that made it borderline being in, in the left rough there too. Yeah. So, um, and then we also had my other one. The other one, yeah, they kind of hung in there, but that one white one of mine that was a little bit left was yeah, borderline, but mm -hmm. pretty good with both yeah. of them. I don't know if it's enough for me to change um, from my current driver to, okay. to play this particular model. That's what I was going to ask is if, you know, maybe the smaller dispersion a little bit there, but is that loss of distance kind of going to even it out for you there and it looks like it as you just said it wouldn't necessarily be enough to change from your gamer yeah i think yeah i hit it yeah hit it really really good but the ball speed just dropped just a little bit okay i didn't quite catch it 148 you know i'm usually pretty close around that one right. five number yeah well let's uh let's try another option here okay cobra speed zone all right so you got cobra speed zone now yep i know you've really liked that in our testing so far so i have i've really liked the look of it this year Thomas, four good ones here with the speed zone. You got your dispersion circles a little bit farther to the right. I know you had at least one in there. You kind of thought you missed a little bit, but um, what'd you think of that? Yeah, that one to the right, I felt like I was gonna hit that maybe 250 yards. I feel like it's just gonna, it's gonna spin yeah. like crazy and go way, way right. So I was really impressed with that miss hit. I feel like those four or five swings that I, that I made with this club felt they were a little bit off. Did notice that my club speed would drop a little bit, so it was 110 miles an hour. But the ball speed was higher than the Mizuno ball speed. Yep. So head to head versus the Mizuno, I think that the uh, Cobra speed zone just performed just a little bit better. Launch before them around about 12 degrees. Uh, interesting that my carry distance kind of just went up a little bit there. Yeah. So it was the highest carry distance. A little bit to do with me hitting it a little to the right. So yeah. right's going to be more open, a little bit more chance to get in the air. Yeah, your, your, height, your height here did go up a little bit, and that's, like you said, probably because yeah. of that face open a couple times there. But Yeah, but the spin rate was still really good. That's what impressed me. Yeah. 2,100. You know, your ideal spin driver is like 2,000, to, for me, 2,000, like 2,500. So okay. that, was, that was pretty good. We obviously noticed... My driver is going further overall because it spins a lot yeah. less. But you also notice the yeah, height. You go to carry distance over here too. Yeah, so see that. notice it was consistently carrying a little bit further than everything else. Yep. Uh, the height with my driver was only 85 feet in the air. I like that this was flying 100 feet mm -hmm. in the air. So that, that impressed me. So right now I'd say this is probably my leading okay. candidate All to right. try and take my driver out of the bag. Okay, so, so you would replace the Epic Flash Sub-Zero, your gamer, with that as of right now. Now we have two more models to test, but... Yeah. Well, I would like to test this with the VV6X shaft as well, but okay. we've got a couple other models to sure. go, and okay. I want to test a couple other shafts too, because there's a okay. couple other shafts to see if there's anything better out there gotcha. as well. But yeah, right now I'd say of the two that we've hit, this is the leading candidate. Okay, so. all right, Thomas, ping G410 LST. Ping drivers are always superb. Um, that's not a secret, but interested to see how that keeps up with the speed zone, which appears to be the leader in the clubhouse right now. Yeah, so let's see how it performs. Um, I wanted to include Ping in here because it is kind of that lower spinning model. Yeah. I think Ping, in general, does a great job with all their equipment, so yep. I wanted to include that in the mix. Thomas, Ping G410 LST, um, going through it, it seemed like you had a few that spun a little bit higher maybe than uh, 
some of the other drivers yet so far, but what'd you think? Yeah, I, I had more of a range in spin. So I had that one that spun at 1700, then I had that one that spun at 2700. So my average was decent, but I just noticed the spin consistency with that, this mm -hmm. model was just a little yeah. bit off. We noticed, obviously, if you look at the right here, you can see my carry distance was also a little bit lower as well. Yeah. I'm gonna guess my total distance was down about 10 yards. Yeah, so I, first one there that didn't get to 300. Um, it was straight, and the good news is it, is it was straight. Yeah. Uh, I just didn't quite hit it as solid. Oh. Yeah, I mean, your the ball speed kind of took a dip there. Um, I mean, that spin, you know, if for someone that uh, maybe spins it, you know, if you were looking for more spin but wanted to stay in that low spin head category, this would maybe be the one to look at. Yep. You got yeah, some extra spin there, but. It was a little more spin and it didn't quite fly, fly as high. So, yeah, yeah, so it didn't quite hit it quite as solid. Great smash back numbers, obviously, but just not quite there. So. Well. Let's uh, go on to the next club head here. You got the Maverick Sub-Zero. All right, the last of the four models to test kind of against your current gamer, Maverick Sub-Zero. Sort of the newest that sort of replaces Epic Flash uh, for Callaway. So intrigued here for sure to see how that compares. Yeah, my last two drivers have been the Epic and the Epic Flash Sub-Zero, okay. what I'm currently playing. So oh. Callaway so far is, has been in my bag with the driver. So this is gonna be interesting to see how okay. this compares. So I noticed those last three swings I had, those ca the carry distance went up with this club here. Yeah, I wasn't, my club speed was still a little bit lower than with my current driver. Huh. But what really is interesting is that carry distance was consistently over 280 yards. Yeah, so we got, at, in the, the map here, you got uh, you know, three really consistent ones here on this orange circle. And if we go over here to the chart, that carry distance, and that's what you said right away. You know, it's kind of tied for the highest carry distance and it's been pretty consistent for you. Yeah, so that really impressed me. So I don't even think I need to hit another one just to save so I can save a little energy so here so I can maybe test a couple of sure. shaft options out. Um, I think we're down to two, sh two clubs right now to try and up four mine. I think we're down to the Cobra Speed Zone and we count down to the Callaway Maverick Sub-Zero. Okay. So if you take a look at the left right here, we'll notice my bull speed a little bit higher there with the Cobra Speed Zone than it was with the Callaway Maverick. Mm -hmm. So bull speed, end of the day, is gonna give you potential distance. Yeah. So I really wanna roll maybe with the Cobra Speed Zone here and just test a couple of different shaft options okay. out and see how they other shaft options perform. Because I've been stuck playing kind of my BV6X for the last kind of three or four years. I've really liked it. But it's time to maybe try a couple of different shaft options out. You can always come back and maybe test the Maverick with that shaft option combination and really decide between the two okay. of which one is performing the best here too. Yeah. So, I want to test some different shaft options. Perfect. All right, Thomas, you got the Cobra Speed Zone. Now, what is the shaft you're going to be testing here? So, first one I'm going to test here is the Ventus 7X. Currently, the Fujikura Ventus is the number one played shaft on the PGA Tour. Oh, okay. So, I'm really, it's really done done well in the last kind of since they released it here in 2019. So, I'm really curious. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to test the weight of these shafts. So this is the 7X. Right now I'm playing a 6X, so this is gonna be a little bit heavier than okay. what I'm used to playing. Just curious, I wanna kinda of test and see which one's gonna perform better for me. Gotcha. So we're gonna test a range from about 65 grams to 77 grams. This one weighs 77 grams. Okay. Thomas, you get five shots with the uh, Ventus 7X shaft. Uh, really, looking at this, I know there was one that you mentioned specifically with kind of maybe an outlier here in terms of spin. You left it out to the right, uh, and then overall the spin was pretty, you know, pretty low. Besides that shot, it was also got it, important to note that my best swing of the day was always with this as well. But it was yeah. only one out of five. Consistency mm -hmm. is important. Yeah. I just think this is a little heavy for me. I, a little I've bit. played. 
the six X for in that category for a while. I think going to 77 grams is just gonna be a little mm -hmm. bit too much for me. I've been working on trying to increase my club speed, but I just think this was just a little bit right. too far. If so. you take out that shot, your spin average was 1500 here. And uh, while you did have three in a row with one five one smash, and you're, this is kind of your maybe your best drive of the day, but you had a couple of those that were maybe a little low and to the left with spin in the fourteen hundred range, which is maybe a little bit low than lower than what you're looking for for sure. Yeah, even with that being my best probably my best drive of the day, it still did spin at sixteen hundred RPMs, and that is just not enough spin. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's drop back down to the six category again. <laughs> back to reality. All right, Thomas, what do you got now? I've got the new Graphite Design XC6X. This is the shaft I've okay. been waiting to test. It's got a very, very similar profile to the BB6X. The only difference is in the tip, it's just a little bit stiffer. So maybe ever okay. so, maybe feel like it's ever so slightly stiffer than what I'm currently playing. Okay. Yep. So, so it should be very similar to what you're playing now? should be very similar, now? yeah. We're talking okay. weight category, kind of 66 and 65 grams between those two. They're okay. really almost identical. XC stands for extra carry. Can I get it? Oh, wow. Boy. All right. All right. Well, Thomas, we might have just found your new golf shaft in the driver. I mean, that is, you want a more carry distance, looking at the shots here, you're averaging 286 carry, and if I you know, collapse all, all these, 286 has gotta be by far the highest number so far, um, especially the ones here. We got 282 in the clubs that we kind of finalized here for testing, and just looking at the map here too, that's. That's pretty good. It's gonna be hard to beat. Pretty darn good dispersion <laughs> there as well. That's yeah. it's gonna be tough to beat right there. Yeah, it was excellent. The spin at 2177 on average. Also really consistent. I mean, the consistency yeah. is really good. So XC is supposed to stand for extra carry and I might have got my little extra carry there. That's pretty darn and that's no. and you you always like to emphasize carry distance with you know playing golf up in Minnesota and your events and sometimes it's well often I guess in the summer the course is a little wet and maybe the total distance on here with TrackMan doesn't take that into effect, whereas carry distance will give you better measurement as to if you're gaining distance or not. And it does, yes. Right here, that's pretty good indication that that shaft is certainly helping you gain some distance. Throw my driver up real quick as well. I just want to see where that was at. So the, Four. Your, the white circle, yeah. white dots here, your current gamer yep. carry distance. And you got, yeah, that clearly the speed's on with the XC6. A little bit of improvement there. It's pretty good. Um, I almost like the feel of this better. And just to save time, I'm actually gonna skip over the BB6X in okay. here. But I do wanna just jump back and hit that Callaway. I've played yeah. Callaway for okay. the last couple of years. I just okay. wanna see if the Callaway driver can okay. keep up with, with this. Okay, Thomas, so, so it looks like you want to just use that shaft, but also try the Maverick Sub-Zero head to kind of get one last comparison of those two club heads, right? Yep, I wanted to kind of just compare, since I played Callaway the last yeah. couple, of, couple of seasons, I wanted to see how this compares to the speed zone. But right mm -hmm. now, speed zone is yeah. the leading candidate. That last yep. Yep. series of shots was pretty darn good. and it, I mean, it makes sense, given that you have played Callaway the last few years, maybe give it benefit of the doubt as well. So. Hit that good. So Thomas, what I've got up there right now is, you know, on the right side, I have the circle with your gamer, and then the Graphite Design XC shaft with the Speed Zone and the Maverick. And uh, you know, based on you know that Speed Zone one was pretty hard to beat. And what do you think? You know, testing wise, the dispersion in terms of carry distance, a little bit shorter than the Speed Zone. So. I mean, both are obviously tremendous dispersion yeah. circles, though. Both of them are great. I mean, end of the day, I mean, that dispersion is really, really solid. I'm yeah. really happy with that. Um, if I could 
hit it that far and give it a straight. Right. Half the time I only hit seven or eight fairways around. So if I can just get close to the 10, I'm going to score so much yeah. lower. So much lower in 2020. Um, carry distance, I mean, for me, was definitely a big thing in trying to get that spin up was a little bit of a big thing as well. Mm -hmm. I love the consistency of that spin with the speed zone. I mean, plus or minus 67 right, seven right there. So that stands out to me. And then obviously it was just a little bit higher spin. I mean, they're both good. <laughs> they're both really good. Yeah. They're both really good. That dispersed, I mean, these I, people, again, I'm gonna, I've said this before with some of your swings, but this doesn't do the justice as to how small that circle is. If we were to zoom out a little bit, you can mm -hmm. see just how, it's, it's just impossible to hit that many shots yeah. that straight in a row. And Best one with the Colbert was 289 carry. I think that kind of wins out for me. So Thomas, you've narrowed down, you got it down to a couple of driver heads and we really found a shaft, I think too, that worked for you. So um, it sounds like Cobra Speed Zone in this test was the best uh, performer with uh, that Graphite Design XC6 shaft. Yeah, so it was interesting because I really wanted to try and test the weight range on golf shafts. So we went up to 77 grams with the Fujikura Ventus 7X and then between 65 and 77 as we tested the three or four different shafts that we had. End of the day, around that 65, 66 gram range was perfect for me. The graphite design shaft I played for three or four years. The new XC came out and I was really intrigued by it. So I really wanted to try that out. It's a very, very similar profile to the BB. It's just ever so slightly stiffer in, in mm -hmm. the tip. So I might feel like I get ever so slightly more control. XC stands for extra carry and I really wanted to see if that worked and it did. I mean, in the day I was able to pick up a couple more yards mm -hmm. and carry distance. For me, that's big. That's really big for me. Yeah, and we looked at those circles. Both were tremendous. Uh, the speed zone just had maybe a couple more yards of carry and a little bit more spin on it as well. So both the, the Maverick Sub-Zero and the speed zone were tremendous performers in your test here. Uh, speed zone just got the edge, but uh, I know you're pretty excited and you like to hit the driver and uh, both performed really well for you. Yeah, I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna maybe make a couple minor little tweaks. So I, you talked about how I was maybe hitting a little bit more of a fade with the, with the Cobra speed zone. Upright lie angle, I've always played around with that with my current driver anyway, with the, yeah. with the Callaway, I've always put it in that D setting, okay. so playing a little upright I think is going to help cure yeah. that little miss to the right for me as well, because I don't really like to see that ball go crazy to the right either, so I think it's going to be a really exciting year for me, I'm really yeah. excited. Yeah, we should, we should be, it's, you do really well uh, playing professionally, it's always fun to follow you and uh, watch your success, so uh, Thomas, thanks for letting the world sort of watch you, you know, fit yourself for a driver for 2020. A lot of great options out there, and it looks like we had a couple of winners here for you uh, in 2020. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, Thomas, best of luck this year in 2020. Thank you. I'm excited.